I love working with Adobe Illustrator in conjunction with After Effects because I like creating very quirky artwork. Artwork that's a little bit more difficult to create inside of After Effects, even though there is a pen tool here. It's not quite the same as working inside of Illustrator. So let me hop over to Illustrator and show you this artwork I'm creating for a video game. This is a Banshee from a very fun cartoony game. And on the different layers, I have the different parts of the character. I have the eyes, the head, and I can click on these different parts here. You'll also notice that my background looks a little different. It looks like a comp window in Illustrator with the title safe on. And that's because I've chosen to create a new document that has as my document profile video and film as the category and then from the size drop down I can choose NTSC D1 or whatever I want to work with to match up with After Effects. Now do you have to do this necessarily? Not really if you're doing something that is not going to be on TV but if you want to make sure that you want to have the exact closest match to the safe zones and that the artwork fits exactly the way you want it to you might want to do that inside of Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and I'm going to choose Save As since I already have this file saved and on my desktop I will save it as Banshee 4. Alright so on my desktop I'm going to choose the format as Adobe Illustrator. I'll save it and I'm going to make sure all these guys are here version Illustrator CS5 because I am working with After Effects CS5. I'm going to have all these guys on and I will hit OK. I'll hop back over to After Effects and I'm going to double click in my project panel. I'll select Banshee 4 and you'll notice that we have the ability to bring this file in in several different ways. We can choose footage, composition, or composition retain layer sizes. So let's go ahead and try footage first and see what happens. We we'll hit footage, open, and then a dialog box op opens up down here and it asks us what we want to do. We want to bring it as a composition or footage. So once again, we're going to choose footage. And when you choose this option, you can bring it in as merged layers, which defeats the purpose of having the layers in the first place, or you can choose a specific layer to bring in. So I can bring in the head, the body, for example, hair, background. And then I can choose the footage dimensions, document size or the layer size. So I'm going to say document size and OK. And as you can see here, we have the body and that's it. So that's the advantage to bringing things in as footage. Let me undo that and I'll double click again. This time, let's choose import as composition. All right, we'll hit open. And you'll notice that we have something different here. We have a comp and we also have a folder. And inside this folder, we have all the different pieces that make up that character. So if you want to, you can just bring these guys in and drag them into place and put them wherever you want them to go. Bring the eyes in. Okay, here's the eyes up here. You can put them in place. I could bring the hair in, put that in place, and then drag the hair layer beneath the body layer. And I can go ahead and bring in the other parts if I need to. The beautiful thing about this is with these different pieces, I can animate them all individually, which is really cool. So I can grab the eyes, for example, turn on something like the amazing auto keyframe, and then I can animate that over time. So I can just go ahead and animate those parts, which is really cool. And earlier in the tutorial, you've seen me do this when I show how to use the auto keyframe feature. So that is how you can bring in all the different parts of the characters from Illustrator so that you can then animate them right inside of After Effects.